Welcome back to The Five. Well, investigators are still trying to piece together what happened to Robin Gardner, who went missing in Aruba two weeks ago. She was traveling with Gary Giordano when she disappeared. And now we're learning that Giordano tried to cash in the $1.5 million accidental death insurance policy that he took out on her. Now, this is another sad case on the island of Aruba that's rising to national fame. And Kimberly, I want to go to you first. Aruba's now saying, that it's going to postpone the search for Robin Gardner, that it needs more time to prepare, prepare for such a large-scale investigation. You would think, after Natalie Holloway, don't they have their act together? Well, and don't they realize that valuable time is being lost in terms of getting clues and forensic evidence? They already have an indication that there's foul play, that the woman is probably deceased because there has been some blood evidence that was found on a rock area where they were last seen. They also have people that saw her in a bar close to that area with him where she appeared to be under the influence of not only alcohol, but some kind of drug or narcotic. And she he was told very the waitress that, she that she's on sleeping pills. Sleeping pills, Ambien as well. So, and who does this? You meet somebody on Match.com, you're like, hey, let's get Get matching insurance policy so I can knock you off. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. And in the meantime, if her body's in the water in the warm temperature, well, can you say Natalie Holloway? I mean, well, do you think it's possible that somebody would actually drug somebody, get a million and a half dollar life insurance policy, and might actually be guilty? I can't believe then. Well, and uh, he said that they were going. No, they they, they, they were listen, going snorkeling, which it's, is you it's don't getting take sleeping to be a bigger. I'm building up more and more evidence on this guy all the time. Do, do you want to? Uh, let's wait till this done. I want to say something here. I've just uh, I'd like to make a point. <laughs> Go, I just want to throw in there, the way I understand the Aruban law is that there's no, going to be no jury, this, the judge is going to be judge and jury, but when they asked to hold this guy for eight days, the judge came back and said, you know what, take 16, right. so they're actually going to give this a lot of breathing room. But well, didn't they, isn't that what happened to Amanda Holloway? Didn't she have... Natalie. Uh, Natalie, Natalie. Holloway, remember? Didn't she go to a bar and the last thing she was seen was drinking right. in a bar? Yes, yeah, yeah. Carlos That's and Charlie. And Greg, I Greg supposedly they found a graphic and disturbing, pornographic, they're calling them images, uh, on Gardner found uh, on Giordano's camera. So this woman, now these pictures are surfacing, no one's really seen them because they say they're so graphic, but... I just think all in all, it gives Aruba a really, really bad rap. Tourism is their number one industry, and again, this happens. Um, I don't think it's Aruba's fault that there are pictures on the camera, but I will say this. This is the dumbest, one of the dumbest criminals that has ever walked on the planet. A, cashing, you mean a, felony cash, stupid? Ca yeah, cashing a life insurance policy immediately after this happens, and number two, doing this in Aruba, yeah, that's, after that's Natalie exactly. Holloway, if you're going to plan a, a horrible crime, a murder, murdering a blonde woman, why would you go to the yeah, most but why, why, because they, known, because they're, because they're known for being lenient, and that right. was the point they of my question. They didn't do anything with Natalie. Right. That right. was my right. question. Right. If you're Aruba, if you're Aruba, don't you think that you are going to have a process now? Don't you think you're going to be a little more on your toes? I don't yeah, know. I don't I, think it happens Bob. that often. Can I say one? You mind if I just? I know it's a fascinating subject, but uh, <laughs> just because when I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of emails, uh -oh. let me explain. When I talk about rednecks, blacks are rednecks. <laughs> Whites are rednecks. I was a redneck. Chinaman are rednecks. Redneck is a general, is a general rule I use oh my God. for people. Go to break. Who, <laughs> we got to go, Bob. Cut his break. mic. All right. Cut okay. his mic. I'm telling you, you guys all react to this stuff. When you, when you grow up know. drinking moonshine. More on the five, the five coming up. Coming, coming right up next. Up. Stay with us. On the five. I want we'll your right moonshine. Back. Thank you. I want your moonshine. I right. see so, it's, 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 it